Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Kalshevsky, Forensic Psychologist. Recently, I received a question from one of the subscribers to my YouTube channel. And in the question, the person asked, are there any particular books or was there a book that inspired you to become a forensic psychologist? Interesting question. So I thought long and hard about it. And the short answer is there really wasn't a book or specific books that influenced me to specifically become a forensic psychologist. But I can tell you there were two books that inspired me to study psychology more. The first one is called Ego and Archetype by Edward Edinger. The reason this book influenced me, there's a backstory. I first read this book when I was 20 years old. At that time, I worked full time in a warehouse loading uh, Coca-Cola trucks. And when I'd be laid off every winter, I'd take a couple of classes at the community college. And I was living in the same small town where I was born and raised, and we were quite isolated from the rest of the world. And I took a literature class that was taught by a professor who had a PhD in psychology, but taught literature. Ego and Archetype talks about the psychologist Carl Jung's work and how archetypes or cultural symbols are expressed through art. So what it does is it looks at mythology and symbols and connects those to Jungian psychology. And I read this and I went out in the world and saw how Jungian psychology concepts were expressed through art and through other things I saw in the world. And the book blew my mind. It opened my mind up for all kinds of other ideas and possibilities. The second book uh, was a book that I read as an undergraduate in the early 1990s. I was taking an adolescent development class. And one of the assignments was to read uh, a fiction book from the, the category of young fiction and to write a paper on it and connect it to some of the concepts that we talked about in the course. Uh, I picked the shortest and smallest book in the list. And the name of the book is Phoebe. And this book was first published in 1970. So Phoebe is a story of a 16 year old all American girl who lives in an all American small town, goes to an all American school, has an all American family, and even has the all American uh, high school quarterback boyfriend. And Phoebe uh, discovers she's pregnant. The book really goes into sort of the story of Phoebe's emotions. Uh, who does she turn to? What are her choices? And the book was really a criticism on kind of American culture, um, American educational system, healthcare system, religion. By the way, I found the book on eBay and bought it uh, and read it again last week. The book came from a library, Tolt Junior High, which I think is in Washington. So this was actually in the Junior High Library in the 1970s. I wonder if this would even be allowed in some states today. Rereading the book and thinking about the book, I think what fascinated me about this book was it really went into sort of the complexities of human emotion and the complexity of human emotions in a difficult situation and then sort of brought on the sociology and how that uh, affected the person's uh, emotional functioning. So when I read that question, uh, that's one of the first books that popped up in my head all these years later. Anyway, uh, thank you for the questions and messages. If you're interested in forensic psychology, follow me here. Also check out my YouTube channel where there are several videos that uh, cover a variety of topics in forensic psychology. I'm also on other social media outlets Everything is under Dr. Jeff Kalshevsky, forensic psychologist. Thanks.